Welcome back to my channel, Real Tailgate Outdoors. The ice fishing season is off to a slow start, so instead of testing out my ice fishing suit on the lake, I'm kicking off the season here at the 30th annual St. Paul Ice Fishing Show. Here I'm going to bring you the top 10 new gear that you have to buy this ice fishing season if you're looking to upgrade, along with walkthroughs of five wheelhouses and five different price categories, and featuring interviews with ice fishing pros from Eskimo, Otter, and Clam, including none other than the bro. Brian Brosdahl. So stay tuned for a great video here and I'm going to kick it off with the first product in my top 10. So one of the biggest new entries in the auger space this year is the new Eskimo E40. So it's slightly based off of their pistol bit if you get their composite series and it's also available in steel in both 8 and 10 inch. And here with me we got Tony from Eskimo. He's going to go over the highlights of this new auger. We're really excited about this auger. We just came out with it this year. The uh, biggest thing about it is, is it's a 40 volt auger that weighs 13 and a half pounds. So it's really, really light, real easy to use, great in the cold. Uh, there's a couple neat features on this auger. First, you'll notice that the handlebars are nice and narrow. It's a really good ergonomic way to cut your holes. It's also nice for getting in the corner of a shack to drill a hole, a hard house, anything like that. One other nice feature about this auger is it's got a variable speed trigger. So I can go wide open and drill fast. It drills 3.2 inches of ice per second on average at wide open. But if I'm in a wheelhouse and I don't want to throw slush or I just want to reopen an old hole, it's got a variable speed trigger so I can slow it down or speed it up as much as I want to cut a hole. This is the Eskimo E40 8 inch polymer auger. Awesome. Well, thank you, Tony. And I know here at the show, they're offering free battery with it at a lot of places. You end up with two batteries. I know I've also seen this deal at Shields. Uh, well, supplies last. Another new thing we're seeing from Eskimo this year is their e-hub system of mounts. So if we're looking at these, they have phone holders, rod holders, they have base mounts just for universal accessories, rattle reels, and they even have camera mounts for my fellow YouTubers out there. Now all these are designed to fit into their hub system right onto the hub inside of the shelter so really versatile where you can put it in there and it also comes with an accessory so you can screw it onto a flat wall if you're in a wheelhouse and you can bring your accessories between your hub and your wheelhouse. So the last thing I'm going to feature from Eskimo today is the Outbreak 650 XD Limited. Uh, it's the same size house that they had last year but it's got that new pattern on the outside. Moving inside you can see here they've got one of their new hub accessories featured right here so it locks right into the hub it's something you mount on there and you can see it swivels and then this is going to be their drink and accessory holder so pretty cool you can see that's pretty sturdy in there over here they have their rattle reel so that'd be great to drill a hole right underneath it here have that going as your second line while you're in here jigging for those walleye uh, over here they have just the standard rod holder so that'd be excellent for again kind of that second hole setup but all in all, pretty cool design featuring their new accessories. One of the main attractions to the St. Paul Ice Fishing Show is walking through all the ice castles and competitor brands here. And today, I'm gonna to show you guys five different options. We're gonna start at 20,000 MSRP and work all the way up to 60 plus. So you can see what you can get in each budget. Um, at the show, you'll see there's a lot of different show specials. So I'll feature that price as well, but keep in mind, you know, all these prices are negotiable always. So let's start with the MSRP and discount from there. With that, we're gonna jump into the $20,000 MSRP house. For 20,000 MSRP or about 19,000 here at the show, you can get this Ice Castle Honey Hole Fish House. So this is gonna be the uh, lowest priced one that we're featuring today so it's got a couch in the back and then a bunk bed above top of course both of those can fold out into like a bunk bed style uh, we got four holes in a square back here and then one more hole in the corner by the kitchen 
This one's nice, it's got a full stove with an oven. For about 30,000 MSRP, you can get this sweet Glacier G-Series patio floor plan, which has this really cool large patio door at the back, so you get a big view out of your ice house. And then walking inside, you can see there's more large windows here. We got a fold-out bed right here for sleeping, and another couch that folds out into a bed. In the front here, there's a kitchen. And turning back around here to look at the ceiling, you can see this is also an RV package. So what that means is it's got that air conditioner, it's got a ceiling fan, and it's really set up for year-round use. So going outside of it here, you get another view. You can see about 30,000 MSRP, and at the show they're selling it for about 24. All right, so I am here at the Otter booth with no one else than Brian Brostall, better known as Bro. Hey, how are you doing? Brian Brostall here. Good to see you. Hey, check this out. St. Paul Ice Show, there's only one show like this on Earth, and we are here live. It's amazing. There's so many people here. This is probably the busiest I've ever seen it here, and it's really cool. And somehow, I seem to like recognize everybody in this building. So, you know, in, in ice fishing, flip-style houses, have been kind of the, the mainstay of fishing, modern fishing today. And you'll see Otter offers a lot of choices in one person style fish houses from the light hideout houses to the cottage house. What are the differences? Ultra light, fast moving. And are you a flip style, run and gun, adventurer, rugged kind of fishing person? Or do you want more of a social, use a vortex, Otter uh, kind of pop up? Are you going to winter camp? Are you fishing with friends? I'm going to show you the differences. Thanks again to the bro, Brian Brosell, for walking us through all the otter has to offer you this ice fishing season. Click the link in the upper right to tune into the rest of his video. New from Garmin this season is not LifeScope, but it's the locator itself. It's the Ultra HD2 unit. And compared to the Ultra HD, which is the model that I run, this model, claims to have more responsive GPS and a higher resolution screen. So when you're out there in the ice shack and you're really close up to your locator, you're getting the ultimate views either from your live scope or just from your standard transducer. So it could be a good option if you're looking for an upgrade. So new from 13 Fishing this year, we've got their Wicked Pro Series rods. So kind of an upgrade from just the normal Wicked. It's kind of talking to the guys here at the booth. It goes in between uh, like the Wicked and the Tickle Stick. So it's gonna have a little bit more sensitive end to that rod, but it's not gonna have that flattened down rod that you'll see on the Tickle Stick. So the Tickle Stick, you get a lot more of that spring bobber action at the tip. So the Tickle Stick was here last year. The new thing is this Tickle Stick Carbon Pro. So it's gonna have more carbon in the blank, and I was just trying it out here at the show. When you touch that tip, you feel it all the way through the rod. So in addition to that visual sensitivity from that very flexible tip, you also get a lot of that feel that I think was kind of lost in that original tickle stick. So I think this tickle stick carbon pro is something I'll be picking up this year. It'd be a great thing to add to your arsenal. So I'm here at the Della Bay Custom Rods, and I'm here with Carson. He's going to tell us a bit about the rods. Hello, everybody. Thank you again. Carson Hamill here at the Della Bay booth, hanging out at the St. Paul Ice Fishing Show. We got the entire lineup of ice rods here. It has been fun. We've been selling a lot of rods. Everybody is stoked to see the new rods. Mr. Sam, the creator, the mastermind the in the rod shop, came out with the spring tip. This is an absolute stellar rod. I did not find out about this rod until Friday. I walked in the booth, Sammy goes, hey, this is the new rod and it looks absolutely sweet. I cannot wait to get my hands on this rod. It is gonna be a killer, killer this hard water season. I hope you guys are enjoying the show and I'll catch you out on the water. Peace. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So right at the 40,000 MSRP, we've got this Nordic Lodge House and their big advertisement is that they have a dip galvanized steel frame to prevent a lot of that rust you can see on some of the other uh, fish houses. Uh, so this one's a 17 foot. And at the show they're advertising you can save up to 5,000 today. Coming inside we got a two person couch with a bunk over it. It seems a little short so you'd have to be kind of scrunched up on there or a good size for kids. 
we got a kitchen up here in this front corner and then up here we got a closet you could either outfit it as kind of a bathroom setup or storage there is a fan up there along the wall turning toward the back it does have a fridge more seating in the back here and then this house has a total of six holes in it so for this Yeti house here we're looking at an MSRP of just under 60,000 let's run inside and see what we got we got a three-person couch with a bunk bed stacked on top we got more sleeping in the back with a fold-out sleeping sofa and another mini bunk up there for holes in this thing it looks like we got four in a square pattern back here we got another two up front for the couch up there there's a nice kitchen in this front nook ceiling fan and then this one's also an RV model so it's got a bathroom here in the corner and then an air conditioner up top Walking through all the clam houses this year, the main thing I notice is across most of their lineup, they have these new doors on them. So I think they're called the Max Entry Door, and it really competes with what you know Eskimo and Otter have been doing for a couple years now. With a couple exceptions, you know their door is very large. It's not 100% trip free though. So you still got that fabric at the bottom. Uh, going inside, you can see the hub shelters now have one flat front. So they kind of look like a flip over house when you approach them. And then when you go inside, they're definitely uh, a hub house. So looking at it here, they have lights across the top. And these do not come with the house, but on these X-Pro models, you can buy this accessory. And then these fabric sleeves up here, they're kind of opaque or where you can flip those through. Uh, looking a little bit more at the other details in here, uh, they got sewed in windows, so pretty standard for clam. Uh, again, when you're looking at it from this side, the one disadvantage I can see is that the front entry area is not bowed out like a normal hub house would be. So it's kind of a give and take, but I will say, compared to an Eskimo, the door is definitely wider. So a big win there on door width. And we'll take a look at a couple other clam houses here just to show you, because this is still a pretty small, small house, so maybe a three or four person. Well, let's go check out a bigger one and see how it looks. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the clam X800 thermal. So this also has that new max entry door on it, but it's gonna be a lot bigger. So if you're gonna be using it for ice camping overnight, it's gonna be awesome for that. Uh, you can see this one has a blacked out interior, so also great for spearing. And you can just see how large this house is inside. So really great for your ice camping. It's gonna be a dual uh, hub setup. So you got this side and this side that pops out and you can still see like on the smaller one, this door over here is very flat, so it's not gonna bow out like on your typical uh, pop-up house it's gonna be more like a flip over on this side all right so I'm here at the clam booth with the new clam predator tip up and we got Caleb here who is telling me he helped invent this and he's gonna demonstrate this new tip up that's gonna behave like an iFish Pro but it's very different so Caleb take it away so right now I have this set up with an automatic hook setting trigger. So we're going to bend the rod down, hook the eyelid on, set our trigger, set our flag. And now when a fish comes along, bam, he's hooked, flag goes up. You can use any kind of light indicator on this flag like you would on a tip up. Now that is not legal in Minnesota yet. So we have a secondary trigger. This also comes in handy if you want to use a bigger sucker minnow, let the fish take it. This one is gonna act more like your iFish Pro and just trip the flag. There's no automatic hook setting. So we can leave the other trigger home so the warden doesn't have any questions. And that's very important if you're yes, in Minnesota. It yes yep. it is because it's not legal yet, although yep. they are working on legislation to pass it in Minnesota as well. 
So now we open the bale, we use a bait feeder reel, something that's going to put a little tension on that. Fish comes along, takes the bait, they just swim away with it until we can get there and set the hook ourselves so it is not automatically setting the hook on those fish. So that is legal in Minnesota. And then as far as packing this up, all you have to do is bend the flag down, belt throw it down, and hold it up with one knob right there. Deploy it, reverse the process, you're fishing in your seconds. So that's it. Awesome. That's simple. Well, it looks like a pretty sweet setup, and my favorite thing versus the iFish Pro is no bobber stop to get stuck Nothing in that ice. Yeah. So awesome. Thank you so much, Caleb. Yeah, you bet. Today to buy if you're gonna buy one. From Yeti here, we have the ultimate ice fishing house. MSRP at 76 grand. So for this, it's gonna be a dual axle house. And going inside here, this is gonna be an RV edition. So we're gonna have a full suite kitchen in here in the upper corner. And then going in this way, we are gonna have a full bathroom, including a shower, which you could use during the winter if you keep it heated, or especially during the summer, during your summer camping and fishing. We got a bunk here over the sofa, which also is gonna fold out into a bed. We got a large fridge, a nice long table here, and then this is also going to be uh, one where you can pull your ATV inside and have all your gear, snowmobiles in here on the way up, a toy hauler. We got a bunk that comes down from the ceiling, and then this back is either a nice table setup or a sweet area to get some sleep at night while you're waiting for those walleyes to bite. All right, so I'm here at the Strike Master booth, and one thing they have new this year is a way to utilize your batteries when you're done drilling your holes. So I'm here with Tony, he's gonna walk us through. So this is our power adapter. It will power up your sonar if your battery goes dead, it'll do your lights in your house, and it can charge your phones and any other devices to make sure you're not late for dinner, or at least call and tell her why. And uh, <laughs> that's our power inverter. Comes, it fits the, tw the 40V battery if you have a, a 40V already. And then we have the power station as well. Power station adds Bluetooth speaker, uh, lights, and you can hit it again, charge your jigs up with the UV light, Bluetooth and all the adapters. And this will act as a charging base for your 40V. If you have a second battery, you'll have two chargers then. Well, so awesome. that's our newest stuff. Thanks for walking me through, Tony. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. If you're in the market for a new ice fishing suit, this Strike Master Pro Jacket and matching bibs is a new offering on the market this year. It's got a ripstop material that's uh, advertised uh, to help prevent rips if you're out there and very active on the ice, drilling holes, kneeling on the ice. It's also got waterproof and padded knees for comfort out there and it's a pretty insulated jacket so you know this year we've got a pretty slow start to the ice again so it's gonna be great if you're be walking out for a lot of the season or out there on your snowmobile or ATV. A new tool from Rapala is this new Glow Pick 6. So it's a six inch long stick that you can use to remove the hook from those micro fine tungsten jigs that you use for panfish or crappie or even walleye if it's a really light bite. And then built right into it is a UV light so you can glow up your jig again and get right back to fishing. So a pretty cool accessory if you're looking for a stocking stuffer or a gift for an avid fisherman this year. Thank you so much for staying tuned to this video through the end. Hope you found something that's gonna enhance your ice fishing season this year. Drop me a comment with what new gear you're picking up or buying as a gift for someone this year. And as always, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, it means a lot to me, and you'll stay tuned with the rest of my adventures this winter. See you out there on the ice.